Hello guys, welcome back to my another video. Today I'm gonna try a portrait photography with this Sony Alpha 7 S3 and 15mm f1.2 G Master lens. It's my first time using this lens so I'm very excited right now. I'm here in Osaka Castle Park in the central Osaka city. This is full of nature and beautiful flowers and the weather. It's very beautiful today. It's very nice photography day. And I'm planning to move to Dotonbori area after sunset. This G Master lens has a f1.2, so it's very bright. So I think it's very good for night photography as well. So yeah, let's go.
Hey, I'm just back home after the portrait photography session, both in daytime and around Osaka Castle Park and nighttime around Dotonbori area. I'm really, really impressed how beautiful melty bokeh in the background and how bright with f1.2 exposure in nighttime. Look at these photos. Anything in background is almost disappeared. And these bokeh rings are very smooth. Yeah, this is so good compared with another exposure points, it's like this. I actually only have this 100 to 400 telephoto as a G Master lens, so it's literally my first time using G Master lens in below 100 focal lengths, and it turned out to be the best lens for portrait photography outdoor. But 50mm focal length is a little too long to shoot uh, indoor portrait photography so I felt it should be better to use a focal length maybe around 40 or 35. And I also tried a portrait movie with this lens. You know f1.2 calls very thin depth of field as you see on these photos. So when we film the movie with this lens by manual focus, stably with a tripod will be good. But with a handhold or gimbal, we will need a high skill of control them. But thanks of this high quality autofocus system, I had no problem taking movie with this lens. Now I'm sure I'm gonna buy this lens for myself in the future. Yeah, I can't help. Well, thanks for watching my video today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up button and subscribe my channel. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.